The Duke of Sussex, 37, revealed last week he was working to ensure his grandmother, 96, is surrounded by the right people. The Duke and Duchess stopped off to see the monarch during a brief layover in the UK before heading to the Invictus Games in The Hague earlier this month. Prince Harry remarked that it was great to be reunited with the Queen after years of living in California. He told NBC, It was just so nice to see her. She's on great form. She's always got a great sense of humor with me and I'm just making sure that she's, you know, protected and got the right people around her. But the Duke and Duchess of Sussex's biographer, Omid Scobie, has posed the question of whether the Queen is being properly taken care of in the absence of both Prince Harry and the Queen's late husband, Prince Philip. Mr. Scobie said the reality of the Queen's situation is that she is living by herself since Philip died in April 2021. He said that much of the Queen's life is run by aides, courtiers and household staff, in charge of every aspect of her life. He said, while Prince Charles, the Cambridges and others stop by for visits, the people surrounding the monarch on a daily basis, aides, courtiers and household staff responsible for every aspect of her life, are all employees of the royal institution. And it's at the hands of some of these same people that Harry experienced some of his darkest and most distressing moments as a working member of the firm. The Duke's comments about the people closely involved in the Queen's life has been interpreted as a direct shot at Buckingham Palace staff by a reputation expert. Reputation Management Consultants Chairman, Eric Schiffer, described how the remarks could have been destined for firm staff trying to create lacerations to his and Meghan's brand, as well as being a comment on the Queen's situation. Mr. Scobie wrote it would be only natural for the Prince to be skeptical of every person in her daily orbit as the Queen battles health concerns and reduced mobility. Mr. Scobie said, having bravely faced a series of health and mobility issues, we often hear how the 96-year-old monarch is impressively getting on with her duties. But, as a grandson and sixth in line to the throne, it would only be natural for Harry to question whether every person in her daily orbit has her best interests at heart. Is she being pushed to do too much? Is anyone telling her to slow down? Is there too much pressure to be at Platinum Jubilee events this June? Is she being properly taken care of? Mr. Scobie then described Harry's worry for his grandmother in a facility run by staff that can be unsympathetic, in an allusion to the Duke and Duchess's previous comments about their interactions with the firm. He added, These are the kinds of questions any caring person would ask an elderly family member living alone or in a facility run by staff. And when you look at the famously unsympathetic institution the Queen lives within, Harry has every reason to worry. Prince Harry will want to return to serve his country when the Queen dies but Meghan Markle won't as she dislikes England, a royal author has claimed. Ex-Vanity Fair editor Tina Brown, whose new book The Palace Papers hit shelves today, says the couple will maybe have a commuter arrangement and believes the royals will find a way of reeling Harry in. Harry and Meghan quit as working members of the royal family in early 2020 and now have a new life in California with their two children Archie and Lilibet. The pair are thought to have a strained relationship with some royals, although they made a secret visit to the UK earlier this month where they met with the Queen and Prince Charles. In a recent interview with US TV host Hoda Kotb, Harry said that the US was his home for the time being. But Brown, who interviewed 120 people for her latest book, believes Harry will want to return to England. Appearing on New York Times podcast Sway, she said, I think that Harry is going to want to come back when the Queen dies to serve his country. And I think they will find a way to reel him in. And it's possible that Meghan, maybe they will have a commuter arrangement. I don't know. I don't see Meghan ever wanting to go back. She disliked England, 